What's going on guys, Vip here and welcome back to another player review on FIFA 23. Today's review is going to be on Gabriel Jesus. Obviously an A3 rated, recently transferred to Arsenal from Man City. So a pretty decent card that always gets used at the start of the FIFA cycle. Always seems to be 83 rated. This year is no different. He's quite cheap, coming in at 10k currently. Let's just make sure that is the price of him. Um, he was always quite expensive at the start of every FIFA, but somebody's price fixing him there. Uh, or transferring coins. He's around 10k right now, which is a really, really good price. If you can pick him up on the web app, um, you know, I'm recording this on the 25th of September, so he is likely to go up. I'd say near like to, you know, 20, 30k um, for a card this good. He's got 84 pace with 86 dribbling, 82 shooting, 74 passing, and 74 physical. He is 5 foot 9, he has got high, high work rates, right footed with 4 star skills and a 3 star weak foot. In terms of his traits, he's got no traits you really care about. Flair is actually okay on this FIFA, um, but nothing too exciting really in terms of traits. Now, as we move on to the attributes, obviously really well-rounded for pace. He's got good acceleration at 87 and good sprint speed at 82. Attack positioning is at 86 with 83 finishing and 84 shot power. Long shots down at 77 with volleys at 78. Passing is okay on Jesus with 77 vision and 78 short pass. Where you really are getting a great card here though, guys, is on the dribbling. He's really well versed dribbling wise with 91 agility and 87 balance, 85 reactions and ball control with 87 dribbling composure a bit on the low side at 78. Jumping and heading accuracy is okay at 79 for jumping and 78 for heading accuracy. Stamina on strikers doesn't really matter, but he has got 82 here. Strength is at 69 and 75 aggression. So overall, a really good card. Now to be honest, um, the chemicals on this card are pretty bog standard. Um, I would personally look at a Hunter. We'll put a Hunter on screen to see what that does for his positions. Obviously, he can play alternate positions as well. He can play centre forward and right wing. Being Brazil and Arsenal as well gives him lots of good chemistry links. Um, but I would look at a Hunter, um, absolutely. I would also look at something like a Hawk um, to boost up that shot power. I don't think a Hunter does that this year. Um, a marksman if you don't want the pace increase, but I would personally look for a pace increase on this card. Um, a hunter would be the thing that I would probably go with on Jesus every single time. And in terms of other chemistry styles, you need to get the pace up so a hawk isn't a bad shout. If you want to play him as a winger, a engine isn't a bad shout either. But for the pace, strictly, we are going to go for a hunter. As you can see there, plus eight to the pace, taking him up to 92 pace overall. 90 attack positioning with 91 finishing, 88 shot power. Volley's very irrelevant there, plus 15 to them. But what we are getting is the big boost to the pace, which is really important. And obviously the finishing increase is really good. So he's got up to 91 finishing there and a 90 attack position with good shot power now at 88. And as I said, if you want to, you could literally play him over here. Be able to position modify him to a right winger if it works better for chemistry. And in terms of the way we're gonna play with this team, what's it done there? Um, we're gonna play in a full one, two and two narrow with balance set up at the moment. Jesus on the left with Rashford on the right. Messi in behind. Fred and Renato Sanchez in the box-to-box -box roles with Casemiro in the pivot. Hakimi, Hernandez, Tomori and Kim Pembe in the back line. But guys, I think I've rambled enough. Let's get into a few games with Jesus and see how he performs. Right then, guys, into the first game we go with Gabby Jesus. I don't know who we're playing here. You know, you can't see the teams anymore. But we'll show you like 30 to 45 minutes of gameplay here. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into some clips. So here we go, guys. Um, let's see how Jesus does perform on the pitch. Obviously, we are in... Um, obviously, I've got the game early, so I'm playing against Sweats all the time, basically. Um, looks like this guy's got... He's got Voller. Oh, my God. Okay, we're playing against somebody really good here. Um, this guy's got a really good team. Well, somebody that is probably a content creator on FIFA. Rudiger. He's got Vinicius Jr. Okay, this is going to be a sweaty game, this one. I have to focus up here, guys. Game seems to be lagging a little bit as well, which isn't good. Renato Sanchez on the ball, into Rashford, Messi on the ball now, here goes Lionel, oh what a pass that is, Rashford, Jesus, shot cancel, Jesus, oh I've readed it, oh that was such a good shot cancel as well, this guy's paused that I'll bring you back, alright guys, game is going back underway here, I should have really gone 1-0 up there, that's really poor for me, I made a few subs as well, just because I want to actually win this game. I'm a guy that likes having a good record, even though you can't see it anymore. Um, so I thought I'd bring on a few of the other big boys we have on the bench. 
What a pass that is. It's Kimi tracking back against VJ here. Offside. Must have been quite close, that one. And here's Renato Sanchez. We're going to look into Salah here. Bring the ball back. Fred into Jesus. Jesus showing for the ball there as well. There's Messi. Oh, over the bar just. Good play, though. It was nice to see Jesus showing for it there. And actually asking for the ball to feet, which was really, really nice. It's got Jude Bellingham. This guy's got a really, really nice team, to be fair to him. Yeah, because he's playing with uh, Rudy Voller as well, which is quite interesting. We are going to do a review on him as well. But right, here's a Kimi. Nice pass into Renato there. We're going to go backwards, so... Okay, it's not even going to let me. Oh, my God. What has just happened there? Oh, it's going to be 1-0, this. It's gone Kunku. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I was sitting here worrying that that was going in 100%, but he's absolutely bottled it there. It's Lorente into Fred, into Renato. Good pass in there from the boys. Messi... Into Tio Hernandez. Tio Hernandez back into Jesus. Jesus back into Hernandez. Awful first touch from Hernandez there. Jesus making good runs here. It's a good play from Jesus. Gabby Jesus! Oh, it's 1 0. It's a great finish from Jesus. Absolutely brilliant there. Good step overs to get into the space. Uh, Hernandez with a few very dodgy touches there as well, but we are 1 0 up and it's great running there from Jesus to get into that space. And on his weak foot as well. So we've seen a bit from his weak foot there, which is nice. Here he goes again though. But really, really good on the ball. Really good on the ball. Oh, yes. Jesus again. Oh, I've read it again. Unlucky. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I was trying to do a croquet cancel there. I don't know why. Oh, my God. What a turn from Jesus. Oh, look at this dribbling. Jesus again. He's in again. And I've read it again. I can't seem to green time shots with Jesus for some reason. But he feels really, 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 really good. I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. Salah's really nice turning from him. Poor from Renato Sanchez. I don't know what he's doing in that part of the pitch, actually. Nice. There we go. Good from Kimpembe there. Into Hernandez. Play this. Oh, it's good football again. Oh, Salah, you've got to find that pass and we're in there with Jesus. Got to drive into this space here. It's a really good pass from Nkunku and it's going to be one all. Oh, my God. He's hit the post. Thank God for that. This is a good player here, guys. This is a really good test for Jesus. And for me, actually, as well. Pass again from Jesus. I don't know what Messi's doing there. It's very strange when that happens. Bring Lorente back here. He's got Valverde. I don't know what Valverde he's got, mind. Nice, good defending Kimpembe. Nice, good play there. We go back into Fred. Take our time. I know Jesus hasn't been too involved here, but when he has been in a sweaty game, he's been really, really good. He's been really composed on the ball, playing good passes. And been really fun to play with, actually. He's done really well there. I don't know why I didn't press him at all. Lorente's done well there as well. For both of us, actually. Play again here with Valverde. Good defending from Tio Hernandez. Oh, I've got to say, I've been very, very impressed with Hernandez. And then Messi find that. Is he onside? No, just off. It was a good run from Jesus and obviously an insane pass from Messi, but... Yeah, good start, man. In a, in a very tough game against somebody that's obviously paid to win, for sure, like myself. Come on, Jesus, use that pace. It's nice. Feels so much better on the ball than other cards I've used. Oh, that's unlucky. I was going to do a back heel there into Jesus again. Here goes with Vola. Oh, man. That's nice from him. Got to play the offside there. Kimpembe comes in. No. Go on, Hakimi. Easy for Hakimi there. Nice. Get the ball out there. Lorente into Jesus. Good pass as well. Good play. Jesus again. Nice. Playing really good football here. And, and Jesus in the link up has been absolutely incredible, I have to say. Should have gone for a through ball, through ball there. That was actually an X pass. I should have through balled that. Got to be careful when you're playing against somebody this good. With a team this good also, like myself. I thought I got to that there. It's unlucky. Sorry if I'm concentrating a bit hard. I just want to, you know, I want to bring the best reviews and make sure I'm winning games as well. I'm not winning a game anymore. It's one of what a goal from Schweinsteiger, to be fair. What a goal. I don't know how he's managed to do that, but fair play to him. Really nice goal, that one. And he's dragged back in as well. Okay. Defend well here. This guy's playing me around the park a little bit now. I think I know this guy. I'm pretty sure he's a pro. 
Maybe I'm wrong there. Jesus making a brilliant run there as well though. Messi finds him too. Jesus. Oh, that's so unlucky. I thought I managed to get through that space there. Can I drive into that space with Valverde? No, he's not. Interesting. I thought tomorrow was quite far out here though. Good defending from the Rente there. Oh, that's poor from me though. I'm going to be at half time shortly, guys. He's probably going to score here because I'm getting a bit nervous playing against him now because he's playing really well. Messi into that space. Oh, he's blown up half time. Okay, guys, I'll bring back some highlights. Oh, nice, Akimi. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Hazu scores. Very easy to score that one, though. Great little tackle there, though. 2 1 up. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's great defending. Oh, Jesus in the air here, maybe. Oh, it's a beautiful pass. Oh, it's a beautiful cross. He's got to score that. Oh. Oh, stop it. That's disgusting. What a great build-up play goal that is. Oh, unlucky, Jesus. What a shot. Oh, disgusting. Oh, he's hit the post. Brilliant from Renato Sanchez there. Jesus. Oh, he's off the post again. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, what a save. It's great play from Jesus again, though. Oh, Jesus is in down there. Oh, it's brilliant from Jesus. Oh, oh my God, what a goal as well. Oh, oh my God, it's brilliant. It's 4-1. All right, guys, so two games done with Gabriel Jesus. I really, really enjoyed this card. He got three goals and two assists. He is made to play FIFA 23. He's he's kind of budget enough to where most of you will be able to afford him quite early on. And he has the knack to always get, get into the right spots, really. Um, he's a bit lackluster on finishing. As you'll see by the clips, there are a lot of chances he missed, which I would hope he'd score. Even with the Hunter applied, you know, he should be scoring them a 91 finishing. They should be going in every single time. He felt really fast, which was a good positive. I was a bit worried that the chemicals this year weren't gonna work, but the Hunter definitely did improve that. I could feel him feeling quite fast. Obviously, the main thing with this card is the dribbling, and oh my God, it is so good. All I'll say is this game is very much made for Jesus because the way you have to play it is if you've got the players with the kind of like mid dribbling, um, you need players that can dribble in tight spaces. And it's more important than port passing, in my opinion, because you'll see by the gameplay as well, there's a lot of ticky-tacka we do. There's a lot of passing that Jesus does that he shouldn't really pull off. But because of his dribbling skills, he's able to pull them off quite often because he can get in and out of tight spaces very quickly. I love that about him. I thought that was probably the best thing about him. And it made his passing good, ultimately, uh, which I have to say is brilliant. He's actually quite good in the air as well. Um, whilst he's only got 79 jumping and he is uh, five foot nine, he seems to position himself really well to be able to get into the positions to win headers, uh, which I thought was quite strange, but really unique and good. And he doesn't feel the weakest either. He, of course, he's not strong, but he doesn't feel that weak, which I thought was a good positive as well. Um, and somebody like this, guys, you know, he's got a three star weak foot, but the four star skills, you can get away with that. The three star weak foot isn't good on him. Um, it's passing, it's okay on his weak foot, but no shooting on his weak foot, in my personal opinion. Um, as I said, the shooting was a bit lackluster. A lot of green time shots I'm expecting to go in that hit the post. Um, but he is made for this game, guys. He's brilliant. On a budget, he is so, so worth it, as he is every single year. Obviously, the pace is a bit low, but the Hunter really does remedy that. And he was absolutely incredible in the games we did play with him. Of course, three goals and two assists. In sweaty games as well, I have to say. You can see by the gameplay, the games are very sweaty. But if you are looking for a starter card, I would highly recommend you get this one. Um, you know, he's 10K right now, probably gonna go up to like 15 or 20, 20K. But I guarantee you he's better than Aussie men and players like that. He just fits the bill of this game perfectly. The nice tight dribbling is what you need on FIFA 23 and he has that in abundance. Love this card, guys. I think you should pick him up 100%. I think if you're on a tight budget, you'll be very hard pressed to find many strikers better than this one in the game. He's an eight out of 10 for actual quality right now. Value, I'm going to have to go for a 9 out of 10 because I think he's going to be the best striker for shoestring budgets. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell 
So you never miss a play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.